Zombies get a bad rap, and deservedly so. I mean, they do eat human beings and everything. But when it comes to investing, we really could learn a lot from the living dead. In this video, I give you three reasons for why I think zombies would make great investors. Coming up. Hey, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Dr. Brad Klontz. Thanks for watching. Let's get right into it. Reason number one, they don't give up. When a zombie gets knocked down, he gets right back up. It's kind of their calling card. When a zombie gets laid down, they don't stay down. They get right back up and back into the chase. Successful investors do the same. Research shows that the average millionaire has had three financial catastrophes before they've made it big. They don't quit. In contrast, the average non-millionaire quits after about one financial failure. The only way they ever make it big is they don't give up after their first failure. And you are going to have failure. Non-millionaires quit after one attempt, and that's a fact. Whether it's investing, starting a business, or doing that side hustle, when you get knocked down, learn from your mistakes, ask advice, dust yourself off, find out where you went wrong, and get right back into the game. Reason number two that a zombie would make a great investor they don't lose their focus. They are intensely focused on their goal of eating you. You can't distract a zombie. You who? Over here, yeah. Come get it, boy. This type of intense focus is critical to become a good investor. Good investors are playing the long game. They don't get distracted by the latest fad or what their buddy told them to invest in. No, 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 no. The worst investors are the ones that are fickle and are jumping in and out of things and chasing that latest shiny toy. Investors looking to make a quick buck end up losing all their bucks. This is a costly habit and a sure way to lose all your money. Successful investors develop a plan, they diversify, they consult with experts, and they stick with the plan. Don't get distracted by the news. Don't get distracted by the latest thing that people are really excited about. Don't get all distracted by market fluctuations up and down. Giving in to your fear or your excitement is a sure way to lose. Don't do it. Reason number three, they don't really care what people think. Uh, sure, they lumber around in packs, but they don't really care what other people think about them. When it comes down to it, they have no problem going against the herd, going against the grain, doing things their own way. They aren't worried about keeping up with the Joneses. They're not worried about appearances. They don't care about having a fancy car or really nice clothes. No, they don't care about outward displays of pseudo well. They aren't likely to get caught up in the excitement or the fear of a market fluctuation. They're not gonna be riding their portfolios right off the cliff with all the other lemmings. No, this is such a critical, critical strategy for investors not to get caught up in what other people think. Trying to appear rich and running with the crowd is a great way to blow yourself up. So learn from zombies. Don't let failure get you stuck. Failure is a great opportunity for you to learn from your mistakes. That's where you grow the most. Most people who make it big can recount terrible failures. And the great news and the opportunity for you is to learn, to dig deep. Where did you go wrong? What can you do differently next time? Who do you need to talk to? Also, stay focused. Develop a plan. Consult with professionals. Put it together. Diversify and stay the course. And lastly, don't worry about what other people are thinking. A sure sign that somebody's not doing great is when they're flashy and they're buying the newest and most expensive things. This isn't how people become wealthy. This isn't how people have successful businesses. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. Typically, the most successful people are the ones who are putting all their money back into their business and are actually living quite frugally. So don't try to keep up with the Joneses, don't try to impress them, and don't live above your means. Don't get caught up in market bubbles, and don't do the absolute wrong thing and sell at the bottom of market. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Special thanks to Hyder College of Business at Creighton University for helping sponsor this channel. If you like this video, please subscribe, and check out the links and resources in the description below. I'll see you next time.